Hello guys, uh, welcome to Sean Kuhn's very first calculator tutorial here today. And uh, these tutorials will work on your TI-84 uh, family calculators. So what I mean by family, I mean it will also work on the color versions and also work on the uh, silver edition and it also works on the CI, uh, TI-84 plus the normal calculator I believe and it should be same syntax for TI-83 also so um, so in this video I want I wanted to show you guys uh, the basic number operations and how to turn on and off your calculator and how to do some adjustments to your calculator too. So what I would recommend you guys to do is you guys should take out your calculator and then kind of follow what I'm about to do here, okay? So that way you guys learn the most off of this video. So I have here a software, um, but you guys should have your calculator out with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to turn on and off your calculator. So to turn on your calculator it's pretty easy because all you have to do is just have to go to the left bottom of your calculator and you will see on button, right? So if you click that it should turn on. Okay? So now you will see a screen with the hopefully it's a blank white screen there. But yes. So that's how you turn on your calculator. How about off? Okay, notice there's a little blue mark above that on button saying off, right? And if we want to get to that blue button, we have to click this second. Second is located right here above the alpha button. The alpha button is that green one and that's the only green one really yeah so if you click that you will see little arrow pop up on the screen right that indicates that it's in the second mode so once you hit second and then you see an arrow go ahead and click on so this software uh, some reason it doesn't want to turn off so I can't turn it off but for you guys, I'm pretty sure you should be able to turn it off. Okay? So that's how you turn on and off your calculator. So how about basic operations? So a lot of people who are probably watching this video are new to graphing calculators. Right? So what's the difference? Well, really, there's a lot of words and a lot of other buttons. Like, we're used to those simpler calculators, right? But this calculator is pretty much similar or same to the other ones. And I want to show you how to do those, okay? So let's say I want to do 8 plus 9 or something like that. I just hit 8. And then I have to hit plus. Plus is located on the right side of your calculator. And it should be on the last bottom one. So click that and you'll see 8 plus, right? 8 plus and then hit 9. Okay, after you finish your operation, hit enter. If you hit enter, you'll see an answer down there, right? Nice job. So next, after that, so it's same thing for 8 or times by 9, which is 72, or 8 divide by 6. So notice when you hit divide by there's a dash right there instead of division sign. Just just know that that dash sign right there is same thing as division sign. Okay? And hit enter and we get a bunch of uh, decimal number there. So that's how you use basic operations in calculator. Oh, and also if you want to use decimal numbers, there's a little dot button below number 2 pad. 
and if you want to do let's say you want to do like 4.5 then you just hit 4 and then hit point and then hit 5 and after that you just do the same stuff like multiply by 3 and then you get 13.5 yep so and the one last thing here um, I want to show you guys how to make your screen brighter and make it dimmer so um, sometimes you will notice your calculator's battery is draining right and probably the reason is because your screen res screen brightness is very on the high side so what are you what you can do is you can hit second here and then you will see this arrow sign right because you hit second and once you do that go ahead and click or yeah push this arrow button either up or down so if you press up it makes your screen brighter okay and then if you press okay I have to press second again and then if you press down it'll make your screen dimmer so it's not gonna go like really really dim but it's gonna go down there pretty dark okay and once you go once you change your dim or brightness of your calculator you can change your uh, you can save your battery much more so yeah that's that's one really good tip to know uh, how to save your battery on your calculator okay so yeah uh, that's it for basic operations and then how to turn on and off your calculator and um, how to make your screen brighter or dimmer to save your battery so thank you for watching guys uh, make sure you like the video and then subscribe for more future videos okay Thanks.